Hello friends and welcome back to Quilt 101. I am Emily and I am an owner here at Quilt 101 and today I am so excited to show you how to make this beautiful sun flare quilt by then it came June. This quilt finishes at an extra large size. It's 71 by 84 inches, so it's an extra large lap quilt that is just great to snuggle with, to use as a picnic quilt throughout the summer and really just it's, it's just a great quilt to have around. This is an intermediate quilt, so we do recommend that you have some prior quilting experience before making this. There is over a thousand pieces in this quilt, so there's a lot of piecing that you have to do. So this is a great pattern if you're wanting to kind of expand your quilting skills, try something new, and to learn some new techniques. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial today as I take you step by step in how to make this quilt. It is so much fun to make. I had such a fun time making this. The bright colors are just so cheery and I just, I'm absolutely in love with them. So let's go ahead and start this tutorial. Now, I don't have anything labeled with um, these pieces, but in your kit, everything will come labeled. I am just leaving all the measurements off and I'm not gonna tell you any measurements because I want you guys to go and purchase the pattern over at Then Came June um, if you want to make this. So to start off with making a block, we're gonna take four of the bigger colored rectangles and once again, once you read the pattern, all of this will make sense. You'll just have to look, um, you'll just have to read that. We're gonna grab eight of the smaller triangles and eight of the larger triangles. I am just gonna show you how to make one, but I just chain piece these all together and it makes it go a lot faster. In fact, I usually make two, three blocks at a time um, just because it just helps helps everything go by faster and there's a lot of pieces so I really don't do it more than like two or three at a time. So we're going to take two of the bigger triangles and we're first going to sew these on to each side of this bigger triangle. What I love about this block is that whenever you go to trim things up she leaves a lot of room so you don't have to be 100% exact but you know try your best. So we're just going to take this to the sewing machine. We're going to fold this over and we're gonna stitch a quarter inch from the edge, and then we're going to iron it open. Okay, so that'll look like this, and then we're going to, I, um, sorry, we're gonna sew this one on. So let me go sew these together, and then I'll be back. So here is the block with just those big triangles sewn on the side. Um, in her pattern, she has you iron the seams open. I am really lazy and I hate taking the time to iron things open. So I um, will show you how I iron things and it works out just fine, but just know it is different than what she says in her pattern. Um, but I, for this block, I am ironing to the dark side. So I just ironed going in. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little, I just have a little um, four and a half inch square up ruler and we're gonna trim off these little corners right here. Kinda looks like a stingray to me. So we're just going to lay that down, line up the ruler with the edge of the fabric, okay? So we're gonna remove these. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something very similar with the smaller triangle. So we're gonna take this smaller triangle and put it on this side, sew it, and then we're gonna iron them right sides together. So this will create, I have a block right here. So it's gonna look like this when it's done. So I'm gonna go sew on the smaller triangles. Here is the block with the smaller triangles um, sewn onto it. So now we need to trim it up. This is gonna be my biggest tip whenever it comes to making this quilt is to square up everything. <laughs> All of your blocks, you're gonna need to square up, especially this one. You have to square this one up. Um, I also highly recommend grabbing a four and a half inch square up ruler. This is gonna be, this is gonna make squaring these blocks up way, way easier. Um, we do sell these on our website. I like these cute cut ones from Riley Blake because it has diagonals going on both sides um, and across. Anyways, these are just fantastic to use in a ton of different projects. Four and a half inches is a pretty, um, 
it's a pretty standard size with a lot of patterns. So you can see whenever we put this on, there's quite a bit of fabric left on the outside and that is good. That gives us a lot of room to square things up. Now we wanna make sure that these points right here, we wanna try to get them as close to this quarter inch mark as possible because that's gonna take the seam allowance into consideration. So that way, whenever we go to piece these blocks together, whenever you go to sew the quarter inch, it's gonna line up like perfectly with that corner and it's going to make it's going to make a nice crisp line um so we're just going to center this as much as possible you can see that the corners of these blocks do extend a little bit into the quarter inch that's another reason why i love this ruler it shows you it gives you that quarter inch seam allowance it shows you exactly where that is but we're just going to center this as best as we can and then i am just going to take the cutter got the tripod right in my face. So this is a little awkward for me to cut, but we'll work through it. We're just going to cut all the way around this. All right. And we now have a perfectly squared up block. Oh, I need to go through. Oh, sorry, I was cutting at an awkward angle. So I didn't I missed a couple little threads. Okay, so we have this block, which is now completely done. So we're just gonna, re I'm gonna repeat this three more times because for each block, you're gonna have four of these. And these are, are um, what are gonna go in the corner and make it look like it's bursting. So let me go and finish these up and then we'll show you the next block to make. I just finished the rest of the corner pieces how pretty they are. I did forget to mention that whenever you go to iron the corner ones on, you press them to the light side. That's what I did. Um, so now that we have these four done, we are going to move on to the next piece, um, which is going to require these. So you're going to get the big block, just a single block, and then you're going to get two of the longer like skinny tri or rectangles and two of the smaller little skinny rectangles. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take these smaller ones and we are going to sew them to the top and the bottom. And so we're just going to flip these right sides together and they should line up perfectly. If you need to pin or to um, clip anything. I love these like wonder clips and you can just clip these to keep them in place which work as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take this to the sewing machine. We're going to sew a quarter inch on both of these sides. All right, we have those two sides sewn on and then so you can see I just ironed these to the light side as well. And now we're going to go and add the long strips and they should measure perfectly as long as your machine is set to exactly a quarter inch, which is very important because this whole, there's a lot of pieces that go into this quilt and they all rely on that quarter inch seam. Um, so we're going to do the same thing where we're going to flip these pieces and sew a quarter inch. Here is the black all done. Same thing I ironed to the light side with this as well. And then I went ahead and I trimmed it up to the dimensions that are listed in the pattern. I'm gonna repeat it again. I'm gonna repeat it multiple times. Square up all of your blocks. It is very, very important whenever you're doing a lot of piecing. Things naturally get wonky and it just is gonna help so much to have everything squared up correctly. So the next block that we are going to do, um, we are going to take, I actually need to go grab it, hold on. So for the next block, we are going to take the colored, these are gonna be the other color. So with each um, block, you're gonna have um, a light with dark, and then you'll also have some that's like a dark with light. You'll see it in the pattern. But we're gonna take the colored strips. These are what are gonna make the pieces that go along these sides right here. So we're going to take, a colored rectangle and then in the kit 
We also have these two rectangles. This one is a quarter inch wider. It's a little bit bigger. So first we're just gonna take these rectangles that are just on, that are a quarter inch bigger, and we're going to go through and sew right sides together, do it this way, to each of these colored pieces. So we'll sew that right sides together, then I just chain piece these, and then we're gonna sew these and then you'll know they're the bigger size because it has a little bit of a hangover on the edge of it. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna take all of our blocks and we're gonna attach them to these white, thicker rectangles and sew a quarter inch along the edge. I have them all sewn together and ironed, and then I just ironed these all to the dark side. So for these blocks, they're all gonna be ironed to the dark. So now we're just gonna take half of them. So we're gonna take four because they're, we sewed eight, so we're just gonna take four of them. And now we're gonna take the thinner white background rectangles, and we are going to sew these to the four blocks that we took and we're going to sew these so that they go on the other side of the blue. So just turn these right sides together and sew all four of those. Here are those four pieces. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab those other four blocks that we set to the side and we are going to sew them onto these. Now you want to make sure that you're sewing this blue side right next to the skinnier white piece. And you can see whenever I hold this up, it can be kind of hard to tell, but one side, like this one right here, is definitely a little bit skinnier than this one. So you wanna make sure that you are sewing the blue strip onto the skinnier rectangle and that it, the skinny rectangle is always in the center. So we're going to turn that right sides together we're gonna sew that, and we're gonna repeat that with all four of the blocks. Here are these finished blocks, and you bet that I went through and I trimmed them all up. These ones, for me, for some reason, always turn out a little bit longer, so I go through and I square up mainly these sides just to trim them down so they're the right dimension. Um, but just make sure you do the same thing and square all of these up. So now is the fun part where we go through and we piece together the entire block. So we're gonna take all of these pieces that we've worked on and we're gonna start with the center, the big square one in the center, and then we're gonna take these striped blocks and we're gonna put these on all four sides. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is take these corner pieces and we're gonna make sure that they are pointing the right direction so they're kind of going out. You don't want them to go in like that, you want them to be pointing out. You're gonna put those on all four sides. Look how pretty this is looking, you guys. These colors are stunning. So now we're gonna go through and we are going to sew, first sew like all of the rows together. So let me kind of split this up. So we're gonna sew these three together, these three, and then these three together. Here we go. I just need to point out these corners real fast. Look how beautiful those points are. These ones turned out really good. Now, don't get too hard on yourself if some of your corners don't point up Correctly, I just want to show you that one. Not all of mine are perfect. <laughs> so just so you know, don't put too much pressure on yourself to have all of the points be exact because it can be a little tricky at times. Okay, so now we have all three of these rows. And I do want to say with these, um, the top and bottom ones, I did iron going in. So that way where these, like, um, these rectangles, like where these corners are, I have those going in and then I have these going seams going out so that way I can nest the seams. So we're just going to go ahead, I'm going to fold these on top of each other. I'm going to give this a quick um, stitch right along the seam. I'm going to iron it and then I am going to attach this and then um, the block is almost done. Bum, bum. 
look how beautiful it is. I just love it. And then for the seams, I sewed them both to the middle. I'll flip this over to the back. If that helps at all so you can see the way I press seams. Like I said, then came June, it presses all of her seams open in the pattern. So you can absolutely do that. Um, I just, like I said earlier, I am really lazy whenever it comes to sewing seams open. Um, so now that we have the block done, we have to square up. That is very important. So we're gonna go ahead, I don't know, I might have to scooch this out a little bit. There we go. And then you'll see whenever you go to trim this up, there's not a ton, like you're not trimming a ton off, but you're trimming off just enough to make sure that it is nice and square whenever you go to piece all of these together. It makes a big, big difference. So I'm just gonna do my best to kind of center this up. And then we're just gonna go through and you'll see when I am done trimming this, there's really not much that you are trimming off but it makes, but even that little amount that you are trimming makes a big difference whenever you go to piece a lot of these blocks together. Hardly did anything up there. Okay, down here we're getting a little bit, cutting off a little bit more. There's some pieces that are a little wonky. All right, so I'll pull this block up And you can see like these little pieces right here it's not much at all so you're going to go ahead and trim those blocks up and then you can set them off to the side until you have them all done Look how beautiful that is so i'm going to start working on piecing the top together because i have all of my blocks done now um, and we'll see. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. I've been, I've loved working on this. Check out these beautiful blocks, like in these colors. I am just loving, loving this color palette. Um, for this quilt, you're going to make two of each of these. So a lot of these are, so these use the same colors, but they're just kind of reversed. Um, so here's like block A and block B using the same colors. Um, and we're going to make two of each of these, except for this one with the light blue center, which we're going to make three of these. I am working on assembling the quilt top. Look how good that is starting to look. And I am following the diagram that is in the pattern. Now we do have some spots on the sides that are gonna be used with half squares, which means that we are actually gonna take some of the blocks and in the instructions, it tells you exactly which ones, and we're gonna cut them in half. So to do that, I just took my cutting ruler and I just lined it up from the um, point to point, uh, having a hard time with words today. And then I just cut it. And so now you have two sides. And then I believe for one of the blocks, you actually have to cut one of them in two quarters. So you're just gonna do the same thing. You're just going to line it up and then you're just gonna take the center and cut it that way. So that is how you will um, do the half cuts. Here are all of the half squares cut. And then this color block two is the one that was cut. You have, um, you cut it in half and then you take one of the halves and you cut it into quarters. So let's finish setting or putting the top together.
here it is all laid out. It is huge. I love it. So now we just need to add the sashing and then assemble the top and then it is done. Let me just take you through. Look how beautiful these colors are. Oh my gosh, so much work goes into making this quilt, but this makes it all worth it. Huh, Luna Bells? Huh, Luna Bells, are you my quilting buddy? Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> I just finished sewing all of the diagonal rows. Look at that. And then I just did that by taking the diagonal sashing and sewing it between each of the blocks on the diagonal. Now the sashing is cut exactly to line up to, um, sorry, the sashing is cut to the same exact measurements as these blocks. So if you need a pin to make sure that the sashing um, like doesn't, go over on either end you can definitely do that so now we are just going to add the sashing that goes in between all of the diagonal rows um, and to do that we're going to take the sashing um the like background strips and we're going to sew them all together to make one super 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 long strip and then we are going to go through and we're going to sew them to connect all of the diagonal columns or rows together. I am just finishing up putting on the sashing in between the diagonal rows and I just want to kind of show you how I do this. It is not bad, I promise. So I have here the really long strip to over what, or what, what's left over of the long strip and I am just going to take this and put it on one end. Now I'm going to make sure that it hangs over just a couple of inches. So that way at the end, we'll have plenty of room to trim it. And I am just going to kind of lay it down along this entire thing. Now you want to make sure I'll have to flip it up because I want to see, have those seams up on top. I apologize for this terrible camera work, but hopefully you get the gist. So I am just gonna put that right on the edge, right sides together. I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and just stitch a quarter of an inch um, on the edge. And I'm gonna make sure to leave a couple inches on the end. I'm just gonna probably cut it right here. And so now what I have found to be the easiest is to take the strip or take the side that has the strip sewn on and to flip it right sides together with the other side that you are wanting to piece it to. I'm just gonna crawl on the floor. So we're just going to line up these edges. And now what I like to do is I have my pins right here. So I am gonna go right here and you can see where these, like the stripes are. I am just gonna work to make sure that these stripes line up as best as they can. And to do that, you can see the seams right here for where you sewed, like, so this like purple one right here, I can see those seams. And they kind of go very, they go perpendicular with the blue strips, which you can see underneath the white. So I'm gonna make sure that those lines all line up and if you need to double check, you can just kind of flip that over. And those lines right there should match up perfectly. And then we're just going to clip that in place. Then I'm just gonna go down, do the same thing here. Just flip it up if you just need to double check that it's all lined up and it is. And we're gonna clip I'm just going to go down and do this on this whole side and then um, once it's all clipped together I'm going to do the same thing where I um, take it to the sewing machine I just sew a quarter inch and all of the seams I am pressing towards this strip if that makes sense which I hope it does so I'm just going to continue pinning and then I'm going to take it all over to sew and iron
that sashing is now done. I've got one more to do and it's the biggest one. <laughs> and then I at least have the top pieced. Um, and then afterwards, I will just go through and I will trim off these extra tails from the sashing and then the top will be complete. And here we have it. The sun flare quilt top is now complete. Look how beautiful it is. It is, let's see what time it is, 11.15 p.m. <laughs> it is late here, so it is dark, but look how beautiful this is. I am just now going to put together binding, or not binding, the batting and um, piece together the backing. I'm going to take this to the long arm quilters and I'm excited to see how it finishes. So here is the finished quilt. Look how absolutely beautiful it turned out. I love the quilting that our long arm did. And this, this quilt just brings me so much joy. It's just so cheery. I just, I love it so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this pattern a try. You can purchase the pattern at Then Came June. We also have pre-cut quilts available at quilt101.com while supplies yet while supplies last, sorry. And yes, we have pre-cut everything that includes over a thousand pieces. Like it's insane, you guys. So we hope that you guys uh, have a great day and have fun making this quilt. <laughs> Bye.